If you're tired of the same old news, what more do you want? I want the truth. You're hearing it. Strap yourselves in, folks. Never fear. What's the dealio? Part of life is learning to let things go. We've got news moms can use. What was that name again? I missed that. News moms can use. Brought to you by Therapon Skin Health. Helping moms have healthy, youthful-looking skin for 20 years. This is News Moms Can Use, and we do pick our stories based on what we think moms want or need to hear. We uh, here believe at the Channel Mom Show that a lot of other media entities want to sell you their soap, but they don't really care about giving you stories that, are, that moms would like to hear. All righty, this first story, Adrian and Chris, is from Where Were Their Parents? That's from the Where Were Their Parents file. Apparently, we had bad parenting and Hollywood to thank for a terrible prank that unfolded in Houston, Texas, when teenagers allegedly decided to copy the destruction portrayed in the hit house party movie Project X. Thirteen teenagers are being questioned for their possible involvement in a wild house party that'll cost the builder nearly $100,000 in repairs. According to KHOU-TV, the teenagers threw their party in a vacant and brand new 4,000-square-foot home estimated to be worth a half a million dollars. But now a tour of the once pristine home, I saw it online, it now reveals gaping holes in the drywall, heaps of broken glass, liquor bottles strewn across the property. Police did take 13 teenagers into custody and a private investigator claims the same thing happened just down the street in another vacant house. So apparently this is a trend. The investigator claims that when he asked the teens why they broke into the home and destroyed it, they simply said Project X. And apparently this is not the first time, as I said, the riot is Teen Flick has uh, inspired copycat house party may- mayhem. Thank you so much for that, Hollywood. Of course that was going to happen, though. That's like the sun rising, though. They make these movies, like Jack asked a couple years ago, you're going to have these mo- these copycat kids. Say, oh, that looks cool. Well, they look like they have fun, so I'll do the same thing. It happens all the time, so I can't say I'm surprised by it. But my, my question is, where were their parents? Well, and why aren't they involved in something a little bit more productive? You know what I mean? They could, like, be, I don't know, doing something productive, like changing the world and, yes. you know, feeding homeless down in L.A. Cause there's a lot of them, and here they are. Getting uh, drunk and destroying a house. Yeah, but when you're, like, 14, 15, you've just seen Project X, it's probably the last thing on your mind, unfortunately. That's well, no, I know. I mean, obviously, it's completely <laughs> egocentric age. Yes, I know. I feel so bad for that builder, and gosh, I hope those parents are... Disciplining those children. (laughs) Okay, are you that later? (laughs) Are you addicted to your favorite diet soda? Once again, the latest research is saying that diet soft drinks may be associated with a host of serious health concerns. I've always been worried about this. This this is from the Real Moms Love to Eat blog, which is written by our upcoming guest today. Many of us already know knew that there was plenty of reason to be wary of artificially sweetened drinks, such as an increased risk of type two diabetes. But new evidence indicates that daily consumption of diet soda was Still is independently associated with increased risk for stroke, heart attack, and death. This is according to the New York Times. The study included 2,564 adults over the age of 40 and took place over the course of 10 years. So, I mean, they, they said it's not absolutely conclusive evidence, but it doesn't look good. I mean, I just stay away from this stuff. Yeah, if you can't pronounce it. Yeah, that the stuff that's in it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I mean, if it's from, you know, a foreign country and it's, a, you know, yeah. it's like pico masala, well, then eat it. But yeah. Yeah, if it's a chemical that I can't read, I don't eat it. Yeah, that's right. All right, these two last quick stories. A Texas infant who vanished eight years ago will be reunited with his mama. That's amazing. Isn't it? After police arrested his former babysitter who was accused of kidnapping him, according to authorities. Crystal Rochelle Tanner, 26, remains jailed without bond in St. Augustine, Texas, facing a kidnapping charge. The boy's mother, now I hope I pronounced this correctly, Oboni, Abani. Champion Morin told Houston television station KPRC that she may be reunited with her son later this week. And this is what she said, and I so identify with this. I want to hold him in my arms and let him know who I am. I hope he can feel the same thing I feel for him. Mm -hmm. And, wow, it is so nice to see one of those stories end well, where the mom gets to have her baby back. Yeah, except he's not a baby. A lot of life has happened there. It has, but at least he's back. they're going to have to spend a lot of time playing and attaching. That's right. That's absolutely right. And finally. Just another reminder that when our culture glorifies celebrities, we're honoring the wrong people in the wrong ways. I'd rather that we honor the work that moms do every day than honor somebody like Jennifer Aniston. Now, you would say that we should not compare, but let me just say this. A Fox News report is... Hear it out. Yes. A a Fox (laughs) News report is determining that, or is suggesting that Miss Aniston spends nearly $400 a day on her body, on her body beautification. Chris, that's probably why you think she's so lovely. The website Shine has been good enough to break down what Aniston spends on her body each week, 
And the estimate is that the lovely but apparently self-indulgent star spends $141,000 a year on maintaining her appearance. See, I think that's relative. <laughs> I mean, well, she's you got to defend the, this? And no, gonna I'm not going to defend it. But the thing is, is, you know, like, do you, I'm, and I'm not going to call you out on this. But let's say that girl out there who goes to Starbucks every day, she's indulging in that. Sure. Or, you know. And I spend money on skincare. And probably relative to our income, it's probably right. not that much different from what she spends on her right. skincare. I agree. I, I think it's because of the chunk. And she's doing facials and certain, you know, haircuts that cost $600, hair treatments that cost $600. And, and, you know, granted, her body and her face are, are how she makes her living. I get right. that. I do get that. Maker. I think I just look at that chunk of $141,000, and I think of kids in America who are suffering or starving children in Africa, and I think, oh, gosh, that $141,000 could do so much, you know. I That's get all. that. I get that. I just think that um, we we definitely have opinions of how we would want to spend somebody. You know, like how many times have you spent the lottery in your head? Oh, if I had $10 million, this is what I would do with it. And, of course, they're all like these great things that have changed the world, right? Yeah. First. But if we really but had really, it. But really, if we had it, it would, you know. We're going to get a facial today. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 